Hi people, how you doing? Today, I'm going to tell you how I did become very fluent in this beautiful English language. So basically, this is a little warning. I'm not going to give you a potion, a magical potion. I'm not going to give you a secret, I don't know, something like miracle. I'm not like the genie in Aladdin. I'm not. I'm going to tell you the things that I used, but what I needed at that time when I started to learn English is I had to practice and trust me when I tell you practice like like crazy practicing you know what I mean and you have to be very patient you know patience is very very important it's, it, this is an amazing and involving process so and afterwards you have to got like perseverance this is very important you need to love the language this is very beautiful so you practice and practice and practice let's keep it that way first thing which is reading I don't care what I read in English I read whatever I want what do I need what do I love books magazines novels uh, stuff about Shakespeare maybe anything anything that you can see anything that you can put your hands on and you know grab and take reading anything sometimes you don't know the words that you are reading in this book or in this magazine that does not matter the things that matter is you read you learn how to read words your mind your subconscious mind will always use to that you read as much as you could even though you don't know the meanings in your own language English, Arabic, and if you're Arabic, English, Turkish, if you're Turkish. Don't limit yourself. This is very, very good. And after you're reading all this, what you need to do is you need to write. I have more than 10 or 6 notebooks. It doesn't harm you. Buy notebooks, small, little, like medium, big notebooks, whatever you desire. You write everything you read. You write. The words that you very know, you write them. So that you don't forget them the words that you don't know much about them yani like little you know you write them in different notebook and the words that you have no idea where they come from you put them in a different notebook and you read every time you read you will like refresh your brain you you remember all those words you have you know those words in a notebook you almost know in a different notebook and here you got the third notebook which is you have no idea what the, what, what, where these words come from so basically what you do you keep this notebook at your home the words that you know this notebook that you almost know you put every word that you write in this notebook you can write a sentence about it but trust me this sentence have to be very very like very touching to you the, 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 the sentence that you write should be reminds you of the word this is very important concentrate on that and also it, it makes the word that you use in the sentence makes it very um, very unique you will like if you read the sentence you'll be like oh I know this word finish and the other notebook the words that you have no idea where they came from now this is kind of hard because you have to figure out what th those words mean and you afterwards you're gonna write the sentences about those words but the key is if you want to translate those words you don't have to translate English to Arabic some words not all some words you can translate from English to English one word have two words which gives the same meanings like cat and kitty they are both like it's cat so cat kitty this is two words in English referring to the same subject and the words that you don't know maybe you can use Google Translator you can translate every word every word not a sentence because Google Translator is amazing when it comes to sentences every word you translate it into Arabic or Turkish your own language and you don't write you write something 
like uh, close to it in English language this is important and you afterwards you write sentences this is a very beautiful way and after you read after you wrote uh, listen listening is very very helpful you don't have to look you only listen your ear sometimes we need to feed our senses if you want to listen to something very good I would prefer to you you should listen to Backstreet Boys and Westlife these two bands are amazing as first you're gonna find it, find it very difficult to understand but trust me with small lyrics subtitle under the videos you're gonna find online you're gonna know every and every single word or you start with those two bands and afterwards you can jump and you can um, take another songs pop maybe rap stuff depends on your taste your desire of music and listening is very important factor trust me I know sometimes people listen they say we don't know no you know how um, you hear a song and one song you hear just like something catastrophe within the song you hear the word catastrophe what you do is you write it phonetically which means if in the movie or in the song you hear or you watch it's like diff uh, the same thing you write phonetically you don't know the words written in English so what you do is you write it the way that you think you are so basically if you say to me catastrophe and I hear it or watch actors saying it no subtitle I would write it this way so basically what I do I Google translator I open a record and I say catastrophe what happened is Google translator will show it to me as this so you have catastrophe and you have catastrophe this is how we learn this is how I learn this is a beautiful technique if you use it you're gonna do that phonetically over and over and then trust me when you write it this wrong you will never it will be printed in your brain everything will be printed in your brain like typing like every time you write every time you do something every time you speak with someone every word you use it will be print in your brain it's like your mother language trust me I've done that before it's amazing now fourth thing is a dictionary dictionary is a very good it's um, it's magnificent it's uh, remarkable it's gorgeous it's fabulous it's uh, astonishing it's outstanding I can go on all day long you say to me why because dictionary is like a school of vocabularies it's amazing now when it comes to the school of vocabularies the dictionary helps you to tell you how to spell a word how to pronounce the word perfectly now you read the dictionary sometimes I, I say to my friends uh, students ask me about the English and how to be fluent and stuff I, I said to them you read 10 pages of the dictionary I don't say to you you read all 10 I said to you, you read 10 pages I don't say to you what do you read so I'm gonna tell you now what you read you read inside those 10 pages the words that are familiar that are you think are common people use you use in your own community another map you understand me so what I need from you you take two student pages you read the, 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 the words but you don't read the words that are my, like which talking about medicine talking about space stuff for for you now this is this is like ground level you start with normal words that you use in general life in, in like normal life you read the words and you write remember the notebooks that I said to you about you read dictionary and you write the words that you don't know and you almost know and the words that you know and you you make your own dictionaries with those three notebooks and you keep practicing 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 this is amazing yes dictionary is a massive school of vocabularies I like that. I'm gonna tell you something this is this is a factor important for me if it's important for you if it's help you you go and do it uh, you should love the language that you want to learn. You should love the culture of that language. You should love the people of that language. You, you should love the cities. Do you know there is an amazing device called Google? An amazing platform which is called YouTube. You go search on those two platforms. Those are amazing. It's going to tell you everything about English language. It's going to tell you who the first man 
or women speak this language. If you start loving the language, you're gonna learn it just like that. I don't mean a magic potion, I mean like that, like with practice, with hard work and dedication and stuff. You'll be amazing. How I know that? Because I've tried that, I've done that before. This is the real, the real factors that I used to enhance to be very good in my English language. Be fluent. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope I give you something or a little something of my knowledge. Hopefully, this is something new for you, something maybe you got surprised by and you're gonna do it. This is amazing for me. I love that. I want to help people. This is this is what I want. I want to teach people how to do this, you know? So thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video to your friends. Comment below. Tell me about English. Something I don't know about English. Um, what do you think about English? Is it important? Do you want to be a native speaker? If you want to be a native speaker, you write below in the comments. I will make a whole video about native speakers. Yes, I will do that for you. Thank you so much again. I wish you have a, a very splendid, amazing day. Yigunla, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Bye bye. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're gonna see more videos, of course. I will not like stop making videos. I love that. Bye. You have no idea how the nature is beautiful. It's amazing. Can I tell you how much the accents when it comes to the accents, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to speak in any accent. You nail the English. You'll be very good in English, then you pick your own accent. You want British or American. If you want to learn fast, go American. After you be very good in English, you listen a little back to British. That's what I think. Yeah. So the nature, ladies and gentlemen, is undescribable. Yeah. Haven't I said to you goodbye? Why I'm coming back? Yeah. Bye bye.